brother, for being so kind, for your hospitality. Amen. And for the hospitality of those of you who are present. Thank you so much yeah. for your hospitality. I want to call your attention one more time tonight to the New Testament. Mm. Matthew chapter 4. Mm. In the New Testament, the book is Matthew chapter 4. Mm -hmm. We will be looking at verses 1 through 11. Well, Usually when the preacher introduces me, he says, I'm the man of the hour. Mm. So I guess that means I have an hour. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. I am going to read three of those verses. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 4, verse number 4, verse number 7, mm -hmm. and verse number 10. Come on. When you found it, you will find in verse number 4. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, It is written, yes. Man shall not live by bread alone, Come on. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yeah, that's Verse number seven, you will find these words. Mm. Jesus said to him, yes. again, yes. it is written, yes. you shall not uh -huh. put the Lord your God to the test. Come on. Uh, come on. Verse number 10. Then Jesus said to him, mm. Be gone, Satan. Well, yes. For it is written, yes. You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Yes. Uh, well, I want to talk about Jesus, our example. Uh, Jesus, our example. Mm -hmm. How many of you know that the devil is real? Yeah. How many of you know that the devil is not something or somebody with red neotards on? Mm -hmm with a pitchfork in his hand, with horns on the top of his head. Even though the devil is real, Paul says in Ephesians that there is a real war going on. Come on. Yes, sir. Paul says in Ephesians 6 that this war is tearing us asunder. Yeah, yeah. I already told you on the first night that if you're going to have salvation, if you're going to be saved, yeah. you must put your trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. Well, right. And there you will have salvation when you believe in the simple story of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah, right. I told you on night number two that you will have sanctification. Yeah. Meaning that your lifestyle will line up with the word of God yes. and that God will do just like he said he will do. He will bless you. And as you walk with God, your life begins to change yes. and it changes forever. Yes. Because Jesus the Christ is the only one who can keep us. Yes. Tonight I say to you, that Jesus Christ is our example. Yes, yeah. He is the example that has been set forth to us whenever the devil is in our lives mm. or trying to take place or make something happen yes. in our lives. Yes. Yes. We yes. have to call on our big brother Jesus yes. to, to set the record straight. Yes, yes. Sir. Come on. Let me just say to you, it doesn't matter if you got saved during this revival or you've been saved for 30 or 40 years. Yeah. The devil wants to sift you like sifting wheat. Come on. The devil, the devil wants you to believe something 
other than the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, right. The yes. Bible teaches that the devil wants to make sure that your eyes are blind to the truth well, so you cannot see mm. who Jesus is. Uh -huh. And if the devil can blind your mind and change your heart yeah. and make you think that he is one with a pitchfork, red neotards with pointed yeah. heads, with yeah. things on the top of his head, yeah. the devil knows that he got you. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, Paul says in Ephesians 6 that that war that's going on is in the heavenly realm and we can't see it. Yeah. Uh, but this war is dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This war is tearing us asunder. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're in Belize or you're in the great United States of America. Yeah. The war is real yeah. and the war wants to tear your life apart. Yeah. Yeah. I said to you on night number two, that when you get with the devil, the devil will take you up to a high yeah. level and you will think you are somebody. Yeah. And you will think that life has really arrived for you. Yeah. But the moment you get tied up with the devil, yeah. the devil will drop you yeah. when you can't afford yeah. to be dropped. Yeah. Yeah. I, I say to you, before, before I got here, I heard news of sand flies. Uh, How many of you know what sand flies are? How many uh, of you who uh, have had a run in every now and then uh, with sand flies? Uh, the uh, devil uses the same tactics yes, as the sand fly. Yeah. You can't see him. Yeah. Because they have come to the conclusion oh. that they are non seen. Yeah. Sandflies has a way of making its come way on. in your presence yeah. when you think that they're not there. Yes, uh, Sandflies uh, has a yeah. way of showing up when yeah. you didn't invite them to dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Sandflies uh, has a way of showing up when you're not on the menu yeah. with something that he or she can eat. Sandflies uh, will invade your house. Yes, uh, when, oh, I can feel them right now. I can, uh, every uh, now and then, yeah. sandflies show up. Yeah. And when they show up, they are out to get you. Yeah. They, yeah. They don't, they're out to make sure that you, whatever you're doing, you're distracted from it. Uh, uh, sandflies make sure that whatever you seek, to accomplish the sandflies will make sure that you never accomplish that thing. Ah, the sandflies has a way of creeping up on you in such a way that you will forget about your goals. <laughs> yeah. You will forget about your dreams. And yeah. You will reside in, the, in a situation where you think that this is all God has placed yeah. me here to do and what you're doing is nothing ah. because sandflies and the devil yeah. have a goal. And these goals, these goals are to make you miserable. Yeah. These goals are to steal your self-esteem. Yeah. These goals are to make you think that you're the wrong color to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. These goals yeah. are the same size. It's the same oh. goal of the devil. Yeah. And he wants yeah. you to think that you were born in the wrong country. Yeah. You yes, were sir. born to the wrong oh, parents. Yeah. You were born in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah. Sand flies will mess up your life. Yes, and so it will is with the devil. Yeah. The devil has a way of getting into a little girl's head and a ah. little boy's head and yeah. saying, school's not important. Well, I yeah. can make it without it. Come on. Yeah. It has a way. The devil has a way of think, making you think less than who you are. Yes, sir. I stopped by here yes, on my way to yes. the rapture to on. remind you in well, Psalm 139, Verse number 14, the Bible says that you are beautifully and wondrously made. You are in the hands yeah. of God, and God has taken his time, yeah. his effort, to make sure you are who you are. Yeah. Anybody in the room have some goals? Anybody yeah. in this room has some dreams? Anybody yeah. in this room want to do some different things? Yeah. Let me tell you, don't let the devil. Yes, sir. Rob your Yo, dreams. Yeah. Do what you can now so your yeah. dreams can live on. 
Yeah. You want you may want to write this down. You may want to think about this, and I'm gonna say it over and over again. Yeah. Because I realize the reason why little children know rap music is because the rapper says it over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. And it not only gets in their mind, yeah. it gets in their spirit. Yes, so let me say this thing over and over yes, again. Sir. Don't let sand flies, don't let the devil rob yeah. you of your future. Yes, sir. Les Brown says it like this. He says, you must be willing to do today what others will not do in order to have it tomorrow what others will not have. You must be willing to do today what others will not do in order to have tomorrow what others will not have. I think I said one more time. You must be willing to do today what others will not do in order to have tomorrow what others will not have. We came come here, on. we didn't come here to show you how it's done. Yeah. We didn't come here to show you that we're better than you. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter where you live, yeah. we all have sinned. Not yeah. y'all have sinned. Yeah. We yeah. all have sinned. Yeah. Yeah. Romans 3 and 23 says, we all have sinned and we all have fallen short yeah. of God's glory. And because we have sinned, we need a Savior. Yeah. Yeah. That Savior is Jesus. Yeah. Our Savior is our champion. Our Savior is our example. And when we look at the text, in Matthew chapter 3, mm. Jesus is coming out of the water from yeah. being baptized. Yeah. Jesus has come up out of the water from being baptized. Yeah. And oh, when someone is baptized, we ought to shout. We yeah. ought to celebrate. Oh, but let me tell you, in the midst of your celebration, yeah. the devil want to want to put a jam in your success. Yeah. In the middle of your celebration, the devil want to stop your celebration. Yeah. So yeah. the devil will get up in the midst of all yeah. that you're doing yeah. and make you think you have not accomplished anything. Yes, so in chapter 3, Jesus is, Jesus is baptized. The Bible says that when Jesus came straightway out of the water yes. by being baptized of John, the Bible says to us the Father was present. Yes, it sir. says to us that Jesus was present. Go it on. says to us that the Holy Spirit is present. Go you on. see where I see that? In, in, in Matthew chapter 3, it says when he came out of the water, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit descended upon yes. him like a dove. Yes. The Holy Spirit Spirit was there and the father spoke from heaven yeah. and said this is my beloved son and who I am well pleased yeah. and then we move to chapter 4 yeah. and when we move to chapter 4 right after the baptism the devil shows up yeah. Yeah. the bible says in verse number 1 the bible says that Jesus was led of the spirit into the wilderness yeah. for the reason yeah. of being tempted by the devil yeah. Yeah. the bible says in Matthew chapter 4 that Jesus was led by the Spirit of God yeah. to be tempted by the devil. Yeah. I don't have time to deal with all yeah. that, but the fact of the matter is the Bible says the devil shows up right in the middle of your celebration, yeah. right in the middle of your graduation, yeah. right in the middle of you going from yeah. one grade to the other. Yeah. The devil shows up yeah. to make things bad for you yeah. right after your wedding, the devil Come shows on, up. Man. Right yeah. after your bridal shower, yeah. the devil shows up. Yeah. Right after a brand new baby, the devil yeah. shows up. Yeah. Right when you get you a brand new boot, the yeah. devil shows yeah. up. Uh, and when the devil down. shows up, Wait. he comes but to kill, to steal, and destroy. And when the devil showed up with Jesus, he showed up at a particular time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right after success. Uh -huh. and, and Jesus was afterwards a home. Ah. The Bible says he was hungry. The Bible yes, says he has spent 40 days and 40 nights with no food. Well, uh, now let me just share with you, we can spend 40 days with no food. Well, uh, have you tried it? Come on now. We can spend 40 days with no food. Yeah. We can spend 40 hours with no water. Come on. We can spend 7 seconds with no air. Come but on. we cannot spend one moment well, without hope. The Bible says we must have hope, and our hope must be in Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus shows up. He's hungry. He hadn't eaten. And then it comes to verse number three. The Bible says the tempter, ah, the devil, yeah. the sand fly, yeah. shows up uh -huh. at a moment's notice. He shows up, and I want to tell you, at your weakest moment, well, well. 
The devil doesn't care how small you are. Come on, the devil doesn't care how weak you are. Yeah. The devil will show up at your week. I just told you, yeah. he shows up in your celebration. Yes, now I'm telling you, he shows, you, shows up at your weakest moment. Yeah. And when he shows up, Jesus is hungry. Yeah. And then he questions Jesus' authority. Come on. He says, he says, he says, if you be the son of God. Yeah. Cast these stones, make uh -huh. these stones become bread. Yeah. Let me tell you, the devil gonna hit you right where you're suffering. Yeah. The devil will hit you right where you're weak. The devil will hit you right where you want it. Everything that glitters is not gold. Yeah. Everything yeah. that looks good to you is not good yeah. for you. Yeah. The devil shows up, he says, he says, I, I, I ask you to command these stones to become bread. So what yeah. he does was he tempts him. Yes, sir. There are three ways. There are three ways that the devil tempted us. He tempted Eve. He tempted Adam. Yeah. He tempted the serpent the yeah. same way. Yeah. Well, number one, he tempted you in, in your flesh. Yeah. He tempts you with the lust of the flesh. Yeah. Number two, he tempts you in your pride. Yeah. The lust of the pride yeah. of life. Yeah. Number three, he tempts you in your eyes. Yeah. He looks at what you see on, and he tempts you. The yeah. lust of the eyes. Yeah. Anybody here will admit like yeah. I will every night and day? Yeah. I get caught up in my flesh. Yeah. I get caught up in my pride. Yeah. I get caught up with looking and seeing what's yeah. out there that I should not have. I yeah. guess it's just me tonight. Yeah. I guess it's just me. Yeah. The devil will always tempt you in those three elements. Yeah. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, yeah. and the pride of life. So yeah. the, first one, the first one he does, he tempts him in his flesh. Yeah. He's hungry. Uh huh. He knows he's hungry. Oh, yeah. God knows he's hungry. Yeah. The devil knows he's hungry. Yeah. My next point to you tonight, the devil knows where you are yeah. in your Christian walk. Come on. Uh, the devil knows what you're suffering with. Yeah. The devil knows what you like. Yeah. Now, let me just share with you while I'm here. I love chocolate cake. Yes. Uh, I love chocolate with chocolate yeah. on the inside. Yeah. I love chocolate with chocolate on the outside. Yeah. I love chocolate with chocolate feeling. Yeah. I yeah. love chocolate with it when it's moist. Yeah. I love chocolate when it's not moist. Yeah. I love it when it's fresh. Yeah. And I love chocolate when it's stale. Yeah. 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 The devil knows yeah. how I love yeah. 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 And every now and then, yeah. I, I pass the church. I, I'm a preacher. I'm trying to live right for the Lord. Yeah. But every now and then, one of those sisters in the church will yeah. cook a, a chocolate cake. Yeah. 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 And she will make sure that when I get to the church, it's already there. Yeah. Yeah. And they know just what I like. They, yeah. they know I like chocolate. They know I like they, I like chocolate on the inside, Come chocolate on, on the outside, yeah. chocolate on the bottom, chocolate yeah. on the top. Yeah. They know I love chocolate. Why would they come to the church yes. with chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. It's because the devil knows. Yeah. That's what I like. He's tempted me in my flesh. He knows my flesh gets weak for chocolate. Yes, just the other day, just to, just just the day, we had some 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 candy bar there. They had peanut butter bars. They they had fingers, but then they had a chocolate. Bar. I didn't want to act like I didn't want the peanut butter, but I sure was looking at that speaker bar because it's chocolate on the outside, chocolate on the inside. I just love me some chocolate. The devil knows Come on, just what you like. The devil knows just what you're looking for. The devil knows your shape that turns you on. The devil knows the walk that turns you on. The devil knows the eyes that turn you on. The devil knows the shape that turns you on. The devil knows the I'm telling you, the devil knows you yes, even man. better than you know you. Yes, but Jesus, Jesus is our example. Yes. When the devil shows up and offers Jesus this, this thing, command these stones yeah. to be turned to bread because I know you're hungry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jesus says, it is written. Yes. Come on. You, you got to be in your word to fight the devil. Come on. You can't handle the devil by yourself. I told you the first night. I told you the first night. The devil is mighty, but the good news is God is all mighty. God is all seeing. God is all knowing. He is the one who sees things before they even take place. You don't have to be afraid of the devil as long as you got Jesus. But if you don't carry Jesus with you in your heart, then you already in trouble. You remember Peter? Don't you? Peter was walking on water, and all of a sudden the water came up. 
up and the wind yeah. kept blowing. He began to sink and he oh. didn't have time to pray the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, right. He didn't have time to pray the model prayer. He yeah. said, Lord, yeah. help yeah. me. What he was really yeah. saying is, I need yeah. Jesus and I need him right now. Yeah. Breathe. And you got to remind the devil of what the word of God says. Wow. Whenever they tell you the last time I saw you, you were broke, busted, and disgusted, you let them know that was the last yes, time. God. Because now I'm walking with Jesus. Yes, and God. since I've been with Jesus, I've been blessed every day yes, and every way. Yes. The next thing the devil does in, 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 in verse number five, the devil takes him up and shows him the holy city. Yes. He sets him on the pinnacle of the temple yes. and he said to him, if you be the son of God, Come on. throw yourself down. Come on. Jump off of him. Yes. And then the devil started quoting scriptures to him. Uh -huh. yes. now look at what the devil does. The devil knows the word. Yes. The problem is Christians don't know the word. Yes. The devil knows the Come word. On. But Christians don't know the word. You have to spend some time alone with God because when you spend time alone with God, alone in the word, you're able to fight the devil. The devil is not the devil is not intimidated by what you do. The devil is not intimidated by the church you go through. The devil is only intimidated for what is written. Jesus says it is written. And look at what the devil does. He quotes scripture. And he says, he says, your, your scripture says, Jesus, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that you can jump. Yeah. Well, yeah. He takes him up to a high place. Come on. And he takes him to him right near the temple. Uh -huh. He takes him to the top of the temple. Yeah. But that says to us, just because somebody's in church doesn't mean that the well, church is in there. Well. Well. And he takes him up on top of the church and he says, go ahead and bell off of him. Come on. Go yeah. ahead and jump. Yeah. Because the scripture says that he will give his angels charge over him. Let me tell you, he was trying to get Jesus to commit suicide, yes, sir. but yes. God had the death of Jesus Monty. already lined out, Monty. and Jesus had to go to Calvary. The devil, it is temptation, and this is the lust of the pride of life. Now, look. You see, when, when you're proud, you let people double dare you and you do stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're proud, people can, can make you feel bad if you don't We're join in with that. them. You yeah. know, we don't have to go outside the church to find gangs. We got gangs right in the church. Come on. I want me to tell you where the gang is in the Come church. On, Every time you have your group over here and your group over there and your group, it's just a, an organized gang in the Come church. On, it's just an organized gang. Yeah. And in gangs, people can't do without each other. Yes, in gangs, people got to hang out with each other. Yeah. And people are emboldened when they get in gangs. Ah. But the moment you cast them alone yeah. and by themselves, they will bag down and pretend. Yeah. Yeah. It's because the devil has a way of emboldening you and yeah. making you think you're somebody. Oh. So the devil wants you to get caught up in the yeah. pride of life. Right. Whenever you do anything that's contrary with God, yeah. That means you're proud. And when you become proud, you need to understand that pride comes yes, right yes. before the fall. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, it comes to come when the moment you Great. think you're somebody, pride yeah. will come yeah. right before the fall. Yeah. And you're on your way down. Yes, and uh, the same people that you pass on your way up yeah. are the same people that's going to see you when you fall yes, down. Sir. So he tempts him. He says, he says, go ahead and jump. Yes. And when you jump, when you jump, you make sure you jump because the angels will, will have charge over you. Yeah. Jesus says to him, I say again, it is written. Well, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. On, you can't man. test God, but God tests up. Come on, and in order to have a testimony, you got to go through a test. Come and on, when man. you go through a test, you need to know the word of God yeah, so you can talk the word of God yeah, and you can do what God would have yes, you to do. So here it is, lust of the flesh, lust of the pride of life, yeah. and the third one, I'll leave you alone, it is, it is lust of the eye. Ah. It's, found, it's found right there in verse number nine. He 
he says, and he says to him, well, all these things, he takes him up to an exceeding high mountain, uh -huh. and, and he shows him the kingdoms of the world, well, and shows him all those kingdoms glory. Yeah. Now let me just share something with you. The devil will make you think that you, that he owns what God yeah. has. Yeah. The devil will make you think that yeah. all these kingdoms belong to him, yeah. but the kingdom really belongs to Jesus. Yes, Are you with me now? The kingdom really belongs to, to God. The kingdom yeah. really belongs to Jesus. Yeah. But the devil wants you to think that the kingdom belongs to him. So he want to paint a picture like I'm going to give you all of this stuff. Ah. That's, that's, what, that's what satanic and Satan worshipers do. They yeah. tell you what they're going to give you. Yeah. They tell you what they're going to do for you. Yeah. Yeah. They tell you how they're going to read your mind yeah. and your heart. They yeah. tell you that your horoscope says this. Yeah. They tell you that your zodiac sign yeah. says this. Yeah. They tell you that the Ouija board will paint yes, a picture sir. for them. Yeah. They yeah. tell you that the witch doctor can fix Come things on. for you. Let me tell you, if you go to any other medium other than God himself, yeah. any yeah. other person other than God yeah. himself, yeah. then you're entertaining the devil. Yes, uh, and the devil, the devil will show you stuff. Look at what he does. And the devil took him to exceeding high mountain, yeah. showed him the kingdom of the world, and then when he shows him the kingdoms of this world yeah. and all of their glories, he said, all these things yeah. I will give unto you. Let me Come tell you, on. the devil knows how to show you stuff. Yeah. The devil knows where you're going to yeah. be tomorrow. He's going ah, yeah. to send some stuff by you. Somebody yeah. going to get some stuff sent by Come them on. before they leave the room. Yeah. Somebody is sending you right now. Yeah, Wondering yeah. the devil is trying to talk yes, to you right now. Yeah. While the word is being preached, while the people are singing, yeah. while the preacher are singing songs yeah. and you are singing songs. Yeah. The devil is not intimidated by what you sing. Yeah. The devil is only responsible for shutting down when yeah. you give him yeah. the word. Look yeah. how Jesus yeah. shut him down. He says, I give all these things unto you and if you fall down and worship me, the yeah. devil wants you to stop worshiping God. Yeah. 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 Stop worshiping the real God. Right. He right. wants you to bow down and worship oh, no. anything oh. and other things. There are some people in America that are worshiping crystals. They, uh -huh. they are worshiping, worshiping yoga. Uh -huh. They are worshiping stuff. Uh -huh. They are worshiping things. And when you go to the Chinese restaurant, they give you like, your fortune on Come a piece on. of paper. If yeah. God doesn't tell you this is what's going to be blessed, well, then it's not going to be blessed. Yeah. Stay away from it. Leave it alone. Yeah. We sing a song back home and the song says, little eyes, little eyes, watch what you see. Little feet, little feet, watch what you Go. Little hands, little hands, watch what you do. Because yes, if it gets in your spirit, it's going to take Jesus to put it out. Oh, That's the devil. The, yeah. devil. the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil has a way of making you think what you see can yeah. be all yours. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it being all yours simply because God has already put in you everything you need. Yes, it doesn't uh, matter how, how big yeah. you are, doesn't matter how small you yeah. are, yeah. doesn't matter what your shape looks yeah. like, the God has put everything yeah. in you you need to be successful yes, in this God. world. Yeah. I told you last night, God has given Jesus and Jesus has given us the ability to be abundantly yes, blessed. Sir. And as we are abundantly blessed, we better stay with Jesus. Yeah. Stay with Jesus because the devil is after us. Oh. Then Jesus says to him, be gone, Satan. Be gone. He didn't ask him. 